So imagine you have a thousand plus clients and you want to send emails and in those emails you want to attach individual attachments like for example an invoice which is unique to each and every of those clients. The traditional and the slow way will be you go to your Outlook, you click on new email, you type in the email, the body, and you click on attaching the document, you will navigate to the document S, and then you attach, and then you click send. You'll have to do that a thousand times, which is tiresome and time wasting. Luckily, we have VBA macros, which we can use to automate the whole of that process. The only thing that you need to do is to set up your Excel, such that you only need to paste your data, and um, you will click on just a single button, and everything will be sent to each and every of those clients, which will save you time. So this is the data that we have. We have the names of the clients and every particulars that uh, we need to generate an invoice. And in our template, the first sheet is data. So this is where we are going to paste the data from the database, or we can type in, and then we have our workspace. In this workspace, you're going to get the names and the email addresses of those clients. As you can see, we don't have the attachments here. So we don't have the file paths. We are going to grab them from our file explorer and paste them here. And we are going to use the file names to search for the email addresses in this sheet, which contains all the names. And once we are done doing that, then we are going to paste um, all the values here, the names, the email addresses, and the file path for the folder. And then we are going to use macros to automate the whole of this thing, so that you just only have to click on only one button and they are gone. First off is perfecting our initial template. This one you'll have to spend more time Subsequent uh, emailing will be now easier because now you have the template ready because now this template can be used from now going forward. So we go back to our data and uh, we now want to populate uh, the names and the email addresses. The first thing is we go grab our PDFs. These are the PDFs. In this folder, we have all the PDFs that we need and uh, each uh, PDF contain an invoice which is specific to a certain individual. So we want to copy all this and paste them in our Excel sheet. So the way we do that is you highlight everything and then for Windows 10, you hold on Shift and then you right click, you get this option copy as path. In Windows 11, we have this by default, so you just click on copy as path. And now we have the paths of each and every of this in our clipboard. So we go back to our Excel and then we paste. These are the file paths. And now from the file paths, we want to extract the names and then paste them here. Let's uh, copy them again and then paste them in the names because now what I want to do is um, to remove everything and be left with only the name. And now we're going to use this name in our VLOOKUP to go to our data and grab the emails. So it's going to take us a really long time if we decide to do it manually. That is now looking at the name and then grabbing a single email address here and then pasting it here. That, that will take a really long time. So what we're going to do is we are going to highlight everything here and we want to remove everything else and be left with only the name. So we hit on Control H to replace. We can copy the whole of this path all the way up to just before the name, control copy, control paste, that is control V. Then we highlight everything here and then we replace all. And now we are getting somewhere. Now, uh, one thing I want to remove is um, .pdf because we just only want to be left with the names. So the same thing, highlight everything, control H. This time we don't want to replace this part. We only need to replace this one so you come here we paste it there then we replace everything so we have our names now and uh, they are now clean we can resize our column a little bit and now we have a good playing ground for the lookup remember the data we have here is purely fictional if you maybe find your name here it's purely coincidence so when using uh, the lookup this is how I like doing it I go to the source of my data i highlight uh, the whole of uh, the region where i want to search my data from then right click and uh, i define a name let's call this uh, a tonics 
hit on OK and now we have the source of our data named so what you're going to do here is uh, as usual uh, when using a formula you have to start with is equals to and now we type on the lookup we are going to look up for this name then put a comma then the table we named it uh, tachytonics that's it there then a comma again and now the column index uh, we want to grab the emails they are in column two and we want exact match so we are going to use force then we close hit on uh, enter and then let's drag everything all the way down so now we have the names and then we have the file paths so the only thing that we are left with here is now to send these invoices to their owners so we have the data now in our workspace we are done because now we have the names we have the email addresses and we have the file paths so we go to our email and now in the email this is where we're going to compose macros and uh, it may take a while so what i'll do is i'll compose my macros in the vba and then i'll explain that to you and i'll make this excel available to you i'll put a link so that you can download and use it in however way you want you can actually change aspects of what is here so you can just just go and do anything you want with it so remember for you to use macros you'll have to have this tab developer option it has to be here so if you don't have this you click on file go to options and then go to customize ribbon and then you'll have a developer option so yours will be unchecked so you make sure it's checked and before you exit from this point go to trust center uh, trust center settings you go to macros settings and make sure it's enabled because if you don't uh, the code will not run so click on ok and then now we are ready now to compose our macros so if you want to compose your macros you click on developer go to macros and then you can create new but now because i have already created one i have named it uh, send files so if you don't know how to compose macros we have an easy way of recording one i'll put a card to that video around here because i've already composed one we are going to go through the code and uh, see what it does so click on edit and now we've opened our macros okay so this is where we define our parameters all the way up to this point here now what you need to focus is um here by the way if you want me to go through the ba macros we can do that in a separate video so this is how our macros will look like all the way up to this is the top this is the end of of the code so basically what this macro will do is um it will go and uh, grab the email of our recipient from the excel and then for the cc we are going to type that uh, physically and because in the format of our of our data we are going only to cc just on a maybe one person or not so we can just type that for the subject it will pop up our subject line will pop up we don't need to create a new column for that because it's just only the same i'm, I'm going to use the same subject and as for the body we have um, the message embedded in our code because we don't want to have a huge data set just to run a simple task so i decided to put this because we are going to have the same body for each and every client so i decided to encode that here if you want to reference a cell value you can go ahead and tweak this one you can just decide to do that if for example you want to add a new line this is a new line if for example you want to add a new line here so you copy that and then you create a space and then you paste your value there and then you change the content between these quotes so this signifies the end of your your line and uh, let me just go back to where it was and now we have the subject we have the body and for the body it will include the name dear and then it will go to our names and grab the names there that's why we defined the cell offset there and this is the rest of the body okay so you can decide to tweak this if you want and uh, i don't want to display i want to send so that when i just click on send they will just automatically be sent i don't want to have 1000 pop-ups we're done there we now go back now in this worksheet we have uh, 
a macros embedded but i want to create a button i like uh, something that i can see from just here so what we are going to do is uh, click on insert and then i want to insert a shape let's pick this one with a rounded corner and then we want it somewhere let's say there uh -huh. i want to add a text so we call this send mails uh -huh. i want to increase the fonts you can be as creative as you want but i think that one this one will be okay for me what i want to do is to attach our macros to this button so i right click on it then go to assign a macro and then highlight the macro we want to then we click on ok when we hover around the button you see our cursor changes which means that we have something embedded into this button which is our macros and now we can go back to our workspace highlight our data Control copy then here yeah, when pasting we paste only the values so that if you have the formula it doesn't spill over to this point so once i click on send mails this is what it's going to happen it will say dear this name and then this will be the email that it will be sending to then it will grab this attachment from our folder and then put the body that you saw in our code and send but make sure you have outlook running let's make sure that our outlook uh, is running yeah there so you can decide just to minimize that and now because this is fictional data we want to verify that exactly this thing is working uh, what we'll do is uh, we can highlight everything here delete and uh, let's just use some something relatable or email address and then the file path actually we can make a so well, let's say 10 of them i'm not sure whether we are going to be blocked because google might think that we are scamming <laughs> so i'm not sure whether that will happen but let's just go and do something about it so we just i want to highlight 10 of them so to copy go to email control v have access so we delete this ones we have the names we have email addresses and we have the file path so once i click on send mails this is what happens the subject test one okay so i click on okay that's our subject if i want to cc someone this is where i'll do that but i don't want to cc anyone so i just click on okay if we go to our outlook and i go to our outbox you can see they have aligned themselves here and uh, it's sending as you can see it's sending messages four of nine five of nine so this will go on until we are done sure and we're done so we've sent 10 mails each with a body and with an individual attachment so if you follow what we did here in our workspace you're going to get everything that we we did you can see we have everything here so let's open one of them so this uh, you can see this is the invoice this is set and uh, it was quick and easy so we can decide to become extra so we go to our file path once we paste our file path we can create a macro record a macro which will extract everything from here and paste only the names in this side and then at the same time run the vlookup which will use this name to grab an email address from our data and then to come and paste it here so you'll just have to only click one button and everything else will be done so once you're done doing everything there then you highlight your data and then you paste the values you can also you can actually even attach that to a macro and its button may be somewhere here thank you for watching the video all the way up to the end i hope it was uh, helpful and constructive enough so if you have anything leave that in the comment region i'll go check that and uh, if you've not subscribed kindly do that put the notification bell on so that you are notified every time we upload something new thank you